Hello everybody. Um, so now we are going to start to apply what we were discussing in the previous videos about the liquid-liquid extraction on an actual problem. Um, so um, I'm, I'm taking this problem from um, the textbook uh, The School Transport Processes and Unit Operations by Jankopoulos. It's a kind of a very famous uh, mass transfer book. Um, and um, and actually all the steps that I discussed before and all the, the theoretical background that I was discussing was um, uh, taken from here. I, I almost didn't change anything from what's written in this textbook. So um, you can you can check it if you, if you want. It's, it's kind of easy to follow book. So um, this example is um, uh, talking about um, extraction uh, of uh, or using isopropyl ether. Uh, I'm using a pure solvent. It's a pure isopropyl ether with a flow rate of 150 kilograms per, grams per hour, um, and I'm gonna extract uh, acetic acid um, um, from a stream that has 30% by weight acetic acid, and the flow rate of this stream is 150 kilograms per hour. And I am, um, I know that the the uh, concentration of the aqueous phase, which is the the stream uh, after extraction. <coughs> So it, it started by 30%. After the extraction, it will end up with 10%. So I need to know how many stages um, that I need to achieve this separation. Um, so let's, before we start uh, working on Microsoft Excel, let's just simply uh, see what the, the data that we have. So I know that the, 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 the solvent that we know, uh, which is the 450 kilograms per hour, what we call the Vn plus 1, which is this. You can, you can check uh, in, the, in the previous video or the one before the previous one uh, that when we, we, uh, we, uh, I showed you the, the flow sheet and the streams going in and out, so you can, you can double check that. So this is Vm plus 1. And this is L node, which is the uh, the feed, uh, which is L node. Um, and I know that the uh, it's a pure isopropyl ether, so YC is um, is hundred uh, for for stream n plus one, or it's gonna be one um, if you're putting it as a mole fraction. Um, and hundred percent if it's a mole percent, and the rest will be will be zero. The same here. This is the X. Uh, C uh, or this XA, I'm sorry, this is XA because the acetic acid is the solute. Uh, so XA node is 0.3 and XB node is 0.7 um, because it didn't mention anything about the solvent, so it's it's solvent free. Okay, um, uh, and I know that this is X, um, the, this 10% is gonna be the XAN, which is the stream uh, N that is leaving the the um, the, the system or the stages. Um, so these are the information that I know, um, and I I should know the um, equilibrium relation or the uh, um, the phase envelope that I'm using. And actually, the phase envelope that is um, used here it, it was it was uh, uh, um, it was already mentioned in another place in the book. So I'm not gonna waste time uh, going to this place because I've already copied it here to my Excel file. So this is the acetic acid water isopropyl ether system. Um, so you see that uh, I have two sets of data. This uh, left side is the raffinate layer, uh, what we call the water layer, which is gonna be water rich in water. Um, and water is, uh, I mean the acetic acid is A, the ether is C, um, and these are the ratios that I have here. And for the extract layer, these are the data. Again, I have I have three components. So for each each um, point, uh, you should have three points. Um, I go, I'm gonna need only two points for the uh, plotting, but but you should have all the three points because it's a ternary system. Uh, so here is the acetic acid. This is the ether for the extract layer. So what we're gonna do is uh, in this video is just to draw the um, the phase envelope. Uh, draw the um, tie lines and um, draw the uh, the x y diagram that we are going to use to draw the um, uh, or, or plot, draw the number of stages or calculate the number of stages. So let's let's first go for the first part. So uh, the 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 uh, phase diagram is a triangle phase diagram. So I have uh, I have the triangle broken into three parts. So it's uh, A C line, B C line, and A B line. Um, so each one of them, this is going to be the hypotenuse, and uh, this is going to be the uh, the BC line and the AB line, which are the two uh, the two sides of the triangle. So let's let's first go. 
um, and draw it. It's going to be kind of, as we did in distillation before, it's going to take some time to draw the lines and format them and do everything. Um, so it's, uh, this is what I have um, here. Um, I'm going to select data. I'm going to uh, rename it as, um, I'm going to call it the triangle hypotenuse. Um, and then I'm going to add triangle 1. And these x values would be these and the y values would be these. Um, and this is the vertical line. Again, we will add triangle 2, which is going to be, this is the x and this is the y. Um, and I'm, I'm now, I'm now kind of done with this uh, drawing the, the triangle. Of course, it needs some, some uh, edits because you want to make sure that it looks like a physiogram. It's not just uh, a regular triangle. Um, so um, uh, uh, I need to make sure that this is 200. Um, I make it step of 10, the same here, um, 100 the step of 10 um, and I need to add access titles just to make sure that I have everything uh, well defined so this this side would be for the solute so I'm gonna call it XC or YC and um, this is gonna be X a or y and it's kind of confusing here because we we are used to have this for x and this for y but but here we call x for the raffinate and y for the extract so it's it's uh, it's uh, you can have a y that is on this side it, it doesn't have to be x um, this is for a and this is for b again i'm gonna do this for everything it you, you might think that this is kind of waste of time but you know that uh, we will have a lot of lines here and I need to make sure that the lines will not confuse me as you saw before in distillation you you need to uh, spend some time working on this um, to make sure that it's, it's working well so this is the first part of it the second part is to um, draw the the phase envelope or the extract and raffinate lines the extract and raffinate lines will be um, uh, j just to, to keep in mind that we are drawing A and C so we're not using this uh, column of water um, at all B is not included in anything because these are the two the two uh, components of interest the, the solute and the solvent um, so what we're going to do is just to plot this on the x-axis and this on the y-axis again this on the x-axis and this on the y-axis so I would add one more line which is going to be the extract layer and for the x values would be these and for the y values would be these again i'm uh, gonna add uh, another layer which is the raffinate layer these are the x values and these are the y values um so now if we check this this is how this should look like again it needs a little bit of formatting um, to make sure that this is working fine um, or looks nice. Um, so now we know <coughs> uh, we now have the phase envelope. One more thing that we need to do is to draw the tie lines and actually the tie lines would be kind of uh, tough now because um, I, I'll tell you why the tie lines are gonna be tough. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not about plotting but it's, it's just about extracting the data because the tie line is getting a point from here with a point from here from the extract and point from the raffinate um, and these two points is one here and one here against one here and one here so you need to to kind of spend some time oops, um, getting it right so so for instance I'm, I'm gonna um, make it as point one two three four we have now we have here ten ten points so we should have 10 tie lines. So I'm, I'm going to start with 10, 9, 8. Because these on this side would be easy to um, to notice than those here because they will be kind of overlapping on this uh, y-axis. Um, I'm going to do three of them just uh, for, for clarification. And you can do the rest if you, on your own if, you, if you're if you interested. So for, for the tie line, it should have one point here. On um, I'm, I'm putting here the x points, which are the a points. Um, Okay, and this is gonna be the corresponding uh, points of C. Okay, again here I'm gonna do this 
um, and this is this, this is this, and this is, oops, um, this. Uh, one last point or one last tie line. So this is gonna be this point, this point, this, and the corresponding C. So now let's let's take a look on the tie line. So I'm gonna uh, select data, add. I'm gonna call it tie line ten. The x values would be these. The y values would be these. So, so you know that the tie line connects uh, one point on the <coughs> extract layer. To the other point on the raffinate layer, or the or the corresponding point, which is in equilibrium with it, um, and now I'm gonna call it tie line nine, the x values and the y values again. So you see they they are they are clear how the tie lines look like. Um, the last tie line I'm gonna draw, which is tie line eight, which is this. Um, so you see, it's 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 nice to see, and again, I need to make sure that the formatting is is good, um, and because these are tie lines, I need to make sure that they look different. Um, I'm gonna make them like green. Um, I think um, I don't think I can copy the formats of this. Anyways, um, <coughs> again, I'm, I'm I'm not wasting time. Just just making sure that everything is uh, properly drawn. Um, so we don't have any source of confusion in the future because we will have again we will have many 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 lines here uh, later. Um, okay, so these are these are how the tie lines look like. We'll have some more on on the on the on this side, so we shouldn't uh, worry about them. So this is how the uh, the uh, triangle phase diagram looks like. Now I I need to. Um, draw the next uh, or the the other diagram, the XY diagram, which is gonna be XA versus YA. Um, as we mentioned before, we need to draw the 45 degrees line and the equilibrium curve based on the data that we have here. Uh, so we can draw it using the uh, the ladder thing that we did before. So I'm gonna um, use these. This is 45 line exactly like the 45 degrees line that we used in uh, the uh, distillation with the Makethele diagram. Um, and this is how it looks like. I think I did something wrong. Um, uh, yeah, I did something wrong. Uh, it should be these are the x's and these are the y's. And I'm gonna call it 45 line. Um, Again, because this is, I don't know why it's from 0 to 1, it should be from 0 to 100. Um, so I'm gonna go here 200. Um, I think something is not right. Uh, we should see um, the x is 0, 0, and the y is 100 and 100. So it should show. Uh, okay, okay, I think um, um, I don't know if it is here or not Oh, 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 I think I need to change the chart type um, I, I think I chose the... oh, this is what I need Okay Okay, so it was just a mistake of choosing the the chart uh, type. So I, I I would like to always keep keep them um, aligned this way, so you know which is which, uh, because we, we we are comparing the data from here with the data here. Um, so now I need to um, format this plot somehow. I I need to. Um, uh, 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 a short element. I need to add axis titles, uh, primary horizontal. Oh, here it is. And I have both. Um, this needs to be from zero to hundred. Actually, I, I I should have it from zero to hundred, of course. But um, if you if you check the data here, this should correspond to y. And and you see, for the phase envelope, it it wouldn't exceed the a wouldn't exceed. 50 by any means. So I can make it 50, 
and um, keep this uh, from 0 to 100 with a step of 10 so it is exactly like the top plot and uh, just make them kind of well aligned and this is YA and this is XA um, so this is the 45 degrees line again a little bit of formatting just to make sure it is what I'm looking for um, and for the line I'd make it uh, thinner and now the last thing to do in this video is to um, insert the equilibrium relation the equilibrium relation again is gonna be YA versus XA this is YA and this is XA the X subtract is Y and the infinite is X so I'm gonna select data and um, I'm gonna call it 45 line and I'm gonna add one more line which is the equilibrium relation or curve and the X values would be these the Y values would be these and we are done so this is how the equilibrium curve looks like um, and now we are we are ready to um, now do our calculations to get the missing information here and then to draw the operating line and and this is gonna be the the uh, the trick here is how to draw uh, or, or get the data and draw the operating line so you can draw this the steps as we did in the solution before so drawing the steps is not gonna be a new thing to us uh, once we know the the operating line we are we're good to go um, so what we're gonna do in the next video uh, or the next videos is to do material balance over the the system and put the missing information get the value of L um, N uh, and to get the value of V1 which is the um, the exit solvent and how much uh, solute did it extract and then see how we can get the the operating line from here put it here and do the uh, calculation of the stages so this is what we're doing in the next videos so i'll see you then goodbye